But yeah, the, the reason I think the whole country has gone to shit is there really aren't any middle class areas anymore that are reasonably nice. Because um, I've lived in really nice areas out in the, the uh, San Francisco Bay, but the problem is, with the nice areas, you're also going to have a huge wage disparity, and so that means that people who are down on their luck, like me, are going to be right next to the big corporations, just begging for money, begging for something to eat, um, begging for some sort of opportunity, and so then what's across the bridge from that okay you have the slums which unfortunately a lot of that is in Oakland or there's the projects and then there's also the general city of Oakland but yeah I mean the city's pretty rough you have people sitting around the sidewalks um, the actual uh, uh, slum area itself I mean there's a whole bunch of just RVs parked around the train station and everything and then when it comes to each of the major cities there might be one retail street and the retail streets have security guards usually and gates on the fronts so of, it's like of the stores. One of those things where you you see the layers that happen, right? Is you know, large business corporation and stuff, and then you'll see, you know, people on the street trying to beg. But they're not like homeless, they're just not earning enough. Right. In many cases, there can be people who are also underemployed. I mean, there, there's homeless and then there's underemployed, which, I mean, I would say I'm both unemployed and underemployed. Because even if I get a job, I'm going to be underemployed. Like, okay, when you say underemployed, you mean you're not earning enough? Um, not earning enough, including based on a person's education and their skill level. So, an example would be... Well, technically, I'm underemployed because, like, the way my dad talks about my skill level, I mean, technically, I mean, I know I could be earning at least 30 bucks an hour just yeah. doing, like, install work and shit, but, I mean, that's... I, I don't think that's much fun being out of a shop. But, I mean, I'd earn a lot more. Mm -hmm. I don't doubt that I could go to a different shop and, yeah. you know, earn more there, but I don't want to fucking drive an hour to this shop out in the middle of nowhere so I can earn that amount, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, it's a trade-off. My job's, my job's easy. It's not, it's assembly line, but it's not because it's woodworking. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it is. Like, we push out so many cabinets, like, a, a week. It is, it's, it's close to assembly line. Yeah. I was just going to say, if I were earning at my full potential, it would be like, again, around $50 an hour, but You're that's... You're saying at the high end of your wage, right? Like high end for your yeah. uh, titles and stuff? Yeah, because I've made $50 an hour before with fully paid benefits and all of that. Yeah. The only thing is that um, when you leave that sort of position on a rather negative note, um, it's very easy to go. It's like shoots and ladders. It's just like, oh, okay, let's let's get very close to the top. Oh, okay, let's have a manic episode. Oh, okay, let's alienate almost everyone, and then let's go down to uh, trying to figure out where it stops. You get your teeth kicked in. Move down three levels. Well, let's say there's 25 levels on this board. Yeah. I was probably on level 21, and now I'm down to, like, level 4. Awesome. That means I'm on level 3. Thanks, Thanks for that. Okay. Well, you're, you're no, employed. I'm... You're you're yeah. one level above me still, but... Yeah, probably a couple of levels. We're going <laughs> to... A couple levels above I mean, me. there's employed, like, part-time. Then there's yeah. employed at McDonald's full-time. Yeah. I mean, I'm above. I mean, even I. This job's better than a warehouse. Mm -hmm. That is for sure. I'm not saying warehouses are terrible. It's just comparatively, I think my job currently is a lot better than working in a warehouse. I guess now's the time for me to see if I actually have all that privilege that 
people say that I have. Yeah. Supposedly you have this white privilege thing. I'm starting to think I'm black. <laughs> I, I did have um, a black guy in o Oakland, or San Leandro, right next to Oakland, tell me that. He's like, do you think you're black? <laughs> but that was because I was bringing my car in, and I was living, like, it was, I'll just say right around 90th Avenue in Oakland, and he's just like, neighbors get shot out there, just being polite. Uh, it's like, you think you're black? And I just, uh, no, nope, just, that's what I can afford. <laughs> well, right now, I mean, it's a job prospects, I mean, I guess. Uh. <laughs> if it quacks like a duck, does it work? Works like a duck. It might be a duck. <laughs> it's like calling Michael Jackson black. Well, he is. <laughs> it's like, well, not with that amount of money and what he buys. Insert clip of Louis C.K. Are you calling me? <laughs> You've seen that one, right? No, I haven't. Oh, there, there's one where he's um, he's talking to who is it? Um, Jerry Seinfeld, Ricky Gervais, Chris Rock, and then, of course, it's Louis C.K. And so um, I'll say the polite version and be like, are you calling me a neighbor? And then, of course, um, Seinfeld is the one who's like, oh, I think that's a bit much. And then Chris Rock is going like, hey, I work with him. He's this cool sort of thing. And, and then uh, fucking Louis C.K. is going like, oh yeah, well, you know, we, we, we both say neighbor on stage. And then R Ricky Gervais just starts getting a little bit into it, and then he's like, well, why are we talking about... And, and so then Rick, Ricky says it too, and all that, and so it's, it's just this whole panel of white guys just busting out ends the whole time. <laughs> um, and the, I think the only one who doesn't is Seinfeld, and that's probably because of Michael Richards, because <laughs> he's just like, oh, nope, nope, I am not going, going down that route. I know the power of this word, and it does not work for me. Right. Well, I mean, the fact that, you know, Seinfeld is Jewish, and the way he gets viewed by, you know, <laughs> by a lot of other groups. I oh, yeah. See, like, the way he would definitely get viewed and treated. Hmm. Which groups wouldn't like Seinfeld? If you don't like Seinfeld... <laughs> Well, that's uh, rednecks and fucking... You might be a redneck. You, you might be a Nazi if you don't like Seinfeld. Jeff Foxworthy. What? Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, thank you. Thank you for moving over right when I'm about to... If you to like wearing Foxworthy. women's clothes, you might be a transvestite. Or I suppose I'm doing it in opposite order, so... I have to do it where there's a setup, a beat, and a punch. Yeah. It's like, um, if you really like money, then you might be conservative. If you think money brings you happiness, you might be conservative. Or poor. I mean. Poor, yes, poor. At this current point, point in time, poor. It, I would be happy to at least have the uh, essentials. If you feel like your moral values have to be everybody else's moral values, you might be a Republican. Or a Hmm. I think the best way to get it across that religion needs to stay out is let's, let's get a bunch of Muslim people to be, you know, in the government. And we'll see how long that fucking lasts where, you know, yeah, you're right. Yeah. We'll let's just, let's we'll just, just get turn... Of, we'll just make it so everybody has to, you know, go to church or, you know, get on their mat and pray four times a day. And then, uh, no, no more meat, you know. Let's just turn the government into the Middle East. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's pretty damn close. I mean, at this point, I mean, they're forcing religion on you. Next, they're going to force old women to not work. They have to wear, cover their heads and jobs and cover everything. There's no sexiness anymore. I mean, that's also technically what half the Christians want. Can't have that skirt below the knees, ladies. 
In fact, you're showing too much 